Hi, my name is Lily, and yes, I'm a pug. Today, I'm going to show you some tricks to remember math terms. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. For example, find the product of 5 and 3. To find the product, you will need to multiply 5 and 3 together. Here is a trick to remember that product means you need to multiply. Product and produce are almost identically spelled words. When you see product, think of produce. The produce section of a grocery store is where fruits and vegetables are kept. Produce is often bought in groups. Just like multiplying is grouping numbers together. So when you hear the word product, Think of produce at the grocery store, and remember that you will need to multiply. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number. For example, find the factors of 12. These are all numbers that can be divided into 12. Or they can also be multiplied to get 12. The trick to remember the math term factor is to think of a recycle factory. At the recycle factory, a soda can can be broken down into smaller units. The same thing happens with the factors of a number. So when you see the word factor, think of the recycle factory breaking an item down into smaller units. A fraction shows equal parts of a whole. This circle is not a fraction because it is a whole circle. But this circle has been divided up into a fraction. The whole circle has been divided into two parts. So each part is one half. Here's some other examples of fractions. This one has been divided up into three equal parts. This one, four equal parts. And lastly, this one has been divided into five equal parts. Now that you know what a fraction is, it's time to learn the different parts of a fraction the numerator, and the denominator. The top part of a fraction is called the numerator. The bottom part of a fraction is the denominator. A trick to remember which one goes on top and which one goes on the bottom is North Dakota. To remember the correct placement of numerator and denominator of a fraction, Think of North Dakota. Remember, the numerator goes north. The numerator shows the number of parts out of the whole. The denominator shows how many equal parts an item has been divided into. Here are some pictures of pizzas that are partly eaten. See if you can guess the correct fractions for each picture. The first one has been done for you. A proper fraction is a fraction in which the numerator is smaller than the denominator. For example, this is a proper fraction. Here is a trick to remember what a proper fraction looks like. The denominator is the strong man of the fractions. His job is to hold up the weaker, lesser number, the numerator. This is the proper way to lift a fraction. So remember, a proper fraction is when the bottom number is larger than the top number. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator. 
Here is a trick to remember what an improper fraction looks like. Wait a minute. Something has gone wrong. That larger number is being held up by the smaller number. That's not proper. I'm too heavy. The smaller number is going to collapse. He can't hold up the larger number much longer. So remember, an improper fraction is when the top number is larger than the bottom number. Well, that's all the memory tricks I have for today. You can practice mastering these terms with my printable math terms workbook. Just click on the link in the description.